Hi, I'm Wayne Fry here from the Madison Fox TV station. And recently, in the years gone by, we have a couple of groups from Maury Star from Boston, and now we have in 1982 a new group called Slick, and here we have Yvonne and Terry, Terry from <laughs> Slick. And uh, Terry, Yvonne, I have you know a couple of questions to ask you and for your new album and for the future for y'all to be successful okay. in the record world. Okay. Uh, well, the first question I have to ask, uh, what gave Slick his first big start in the competitive world? Love it or be good. <laughs> Is there like any meaning, you know, behind the record? No, no. <laughs> Well, that's kind of funny. We kind of make up our own little meanings. And our meaning is that one day he was beating the bush and he said, do you love it? Mm -hmm. She said, yeah. So <laughs> love it or beat the bush. Mm -hmm. Okay, Terry, um, is your expression, you know, in the music, you no, know, in the first single, is there any kind of expression in the music, you know, for love it or beat the bush? That's just what, you know. That expression, um... It, I don't, it all depends. What do you mean by expression? Like, for like the younger generation, you know, is it a catch, you know, for them to know what you're talking about? And what? Um, <laughs> I think so. Um, as far as we know, that they really love the music. I think the, the dog howls and the rocket ship explosion at the beginning, it's new to music. That's something that was out in like the 1960s era when music was out. There was, I know there was one other record out a while ago which had that type of effect in it and it was really nice and I think it's something different for the music world now, you know. People go to parties and they like to make noise and have fun so the record really fits in on that aspect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yvonne is all like the members from Boston. Yes, they are. We're born and raised in the Boston area. <laughs> Hanging <You too>? out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Except for one member, Courtney Gray. Courtney Gray. Yeah, he's from Philly. Philly. From Philly. Yeah. Okay. Where did the name Slick come from originally come from? I don't know. Our manager mm -hmm. <laughs> has to do with that. Okay. Yeah. And that's your manager? Our manager is Tony Rose. Solid Platinum Records, and we're under Solid Platinum Records in New York City. And we've appeared in nightclubs in New York City's Bonds and the Paradise Garage. It's a really nice place to be. And our record's doing great. It's really doing great in New York, and we hope to go back soon. <laughs> Is it Prince Charles in the same record? Um, Under the same Under record the same? label, yes. yes Tony Rose good. is also his producer. Producer? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Eva, um, was it hard, you know, keep your composure from friends, you know? Well, our friends and the family, they gave us incentive to get out there and <laughs> sing and enjoy yourselves, love what you're doing. And they pushed us, they helped us, they encouraged us to sing and to try to strive for the best that we could give to our listening audience, to ourselves, and do the best we could for ourselves. Yeah. Uh, Eva, Do really try hard. Eva, are you married? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We're too young for that. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're too many so girls. Just, yeah, <laughs> we just got out of high school. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. That's a few years. Give us a few years. So, Terry, um, for a new group like yourself, um, is there a good, you know, good jam in the company? What I mean, like, is there, like, for a new group like yourself, how did a good record company listen to your first jam? How did, uh, you know, they discover y'all for your first jam, musical jam? I, I really, to tell you the truth, I really don't know. All that takes place with the manager, with our manager. We work under him, but not really too close with him to find out all the details as far as pushing the records and everything. He really takes care of all that. As far as we're concerned, the people love us, the public love us. They love the way that we show, show ourselves, display ourselves, and they love our acts. And, but as far as how the records got pushed, the, or, the push, we yeah, we really wouldn't know about that. Public relations is totally d done yeah. by our manager, manager, who is Tony Rose. Okay. And, uh, 
Would you have like a new album coming up sometime soon? You know? We're in the making of a new album called Defend It. Defend it? <laughs> and so listen out for it. It's going to be a really nice album, punk oriented, and really, really nice. Will it be like before the summertime or? Um, no, nah, I don't think that's soon. Maybe after the summer. After but we're, the summer. we're recording on it now. So it should be out soon. Uh, how like how would y'all attract you know from your new album attract the young audience? Is it just for the young audience or for everyone you know to listen to your music? We don't basically try to give our music towards a young audience. We're hoping that everybody could get into it and listen to it and enjoy it because not necessarily just the young, the young and older alike. Okay, I'm Wayne Pryor here with Slick and good night. Kissing that 